Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, children, monkeys of all ages. Welcome back to the circus and welcome to a review of this Hank from Forest Hanks. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it really is from Forest Hanks and uh, round, EDC Roundtable, our friends over there, but that's not what it's about. This is about a very special knife. A really quick look at it, give you a hint. Uh, yeah, Mallory Designs. Forest V2 prototype, another one in. You know I already own one of the first round of V2 prototypes, the Imperfect prototype. But I wanted to get one of the final prototypes in, which is actually, it ends up being different from the production. One difference will be the carbon fiber in the final production run is you have your choice of either blue or red carbon fiber. So, uh, like a fat carbon fiber. Um, but this is the completely blacked out second version of the Mallory Designs Forest V2. Man. Uh, the camera's just not doing this blacked out version justice. It is... Uh, Man, this is sleek and, uh, ooh, this one's not, uh, I, I kind of locked down my V2 a little, little tighter than this one. This one's much more like my original version. But, uh, if you have ever put your hands on the original version, S35VN, stone washed, carbon fiber, this was the only... Uh, configuration available on this and a lot of people have modified there I've seen stone washed and and all the titanium you know the titanium pocket clip uh, same milled titanium pocket clip on these two versions and the final one of the most functional milled titanium pocket clips out there so uh, but yeah this is uh, at $175 when this one dropped. This is Dylan's very first design, the first version of it. The Forest, uh, I think there were 200 of them made and they were gone before I even knew they existed. Shout out to brother Tyler um, for this knife and three, four, five others in my collection that uh, uh, have really helped uh, kind of change a lot of what I think about knives. This is one of the most formative for me. So, uh, sheep's foot, you know I love that. Front choil, you know I love that. Stone washed, uh, super love stone washed. Carbon fiber, I like a good carbon fiber. I fell in love with this knife, fell in love with the platform. And if you ever meet Dylan, um, Dylan himself is just an awesome guy. So uh, a super easy guy to like uh, with a great design that, that fits my hand really well, an aesthetic I love. And then he came out with these V2s and I'm like, okay, <laughs> you have my attention. Um, but when these first round of prototypes came in, uh, Dylan had kind of noticed that this line of titanium around these inlays kind of varies in width. So he kind of wrestled with uh, the OEM, which is Artisan on these, if you didn't know. Uh, he wrestled with Artisan a little bit, and they talked about changing some things. And uh, if they couldn't quite get this done the way he wanted it, and at the end of the day, they managed to get it uh, with some minor changes, get it down uh, the way Dylan wanted this. But as soon as he said he wasn't happy with these, I uh, I texted him and said, uh, hey brother, if, uh, if you decide you want to let one of these imperfect prototypes out, I would love to buy one. So uh, he very graciously agreed that if he would let one out, I would be the first to know. And uh, that's how I ended up with this. Which, if you look at this next to this, um, there are some really minor changes to it. But uh, Dylan managed to get pretty much all of the things he wanted in there. And like I said, the uh, 
the blacked out version is is not uh, is not really getting the the love from the lighting in my studio, but um, it feels just like the others in hand. It feels just like this one. So uh, this is kind of the two finishes you will see. There is uh, the PVD coated um, version with like I said, either black or excuse me, either blue or uh, kind of a, an orangish red uh, fat carbon fiber and a uh, polished version with the same same carbon fiber option. So basically a coated version and a polished version. And um, man, let me tell you, there is a reason these are uh, these are kind of my favorites of all. Uh, and and the only one that that's up here with this is the shaman and there's a lot of the fallout right below this but these things are laser beams super thin behind the edge these are s35 v and the final version is s90 v oh and uh so it goes from a great steel to literally one of my favorite steels I did not snag one of the final versions of this uh, at the at Blade Show when I saw Dylan there. Uh, they were 325 at the table. There were some on White Mountain Knives for a heartbeat for 325, so you could get them for under 300 with the code. But now the only ones that are available as of the time of filming are on Dylan's site, and they are, I believe, four and a quarter somewhere in there. So once you break that $300 mark, uh, you know I'm not going to recommend one way or the other. You know I love this knife. You know I love the design, the platform. Dylan, uh, just being an awesome person, just makes it easy to want to love this knife even more. It is slot only opening, so if you are not a, a flipper slot person, um, this may not be for you, but at the same time, this slot uh, is up there as far as one of the easiest to learn on. So this knife, the pinion, and knives that have a nice long slot that you can't get your finger all the way into um, so they don't feel like they're torquing your finger as you're trying to open them, but uh, give you a nice long area of purchase to get your hand in there. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. So... Whether you really super dig the blacked out, murdered out y'all version um, or the more polished version, imagine it with the carbon fiber of your favorite color in there, uh, whether it's blue or that kind of fire engine red. Um, or you can pick up one of the OGs on the secondary. Um, I love all of these knives. Every version of this knife I have handled or own is one of my favorites. Now, at the end of the day, how many forces does a guy need? Um, I want to say all of them, but uh, I only have two hands. So I am stopping at two and trying to tell myself that I don't need one of the S90V versions. If I do get one, it's going to be one of the murdered out versions with... I don't know what color in it. That'll be a surprise if I ever do pick one up. But uh, they are sold out on White Mountain Knives. So unless uh, Dylan sends another batch to them, um, go to Dylan's site. I will put that down in the in the uh, uh, comments or down in the description for you. So if this knife super speaks to you and you are up for spending that kind of money on an absolutely beautiful, elegant, slicey, and amazing knife in my hands anyway, um, go over to Dylan's site and check it out. Check it out. It's all over Instagram. It is, uh, like I said, it's like you took the soul of a Bugatti and distilled it down into a knife. It, it is just that for me but um sorry i can't put it in any more succinct terms but it is absolutely one of my favorite knives and like i said it's over 300 bucks so 
I'm not going to recommend you run out and spend that kind of money on it. But if you have that kind of money to spend and this speaks to you, it is absolutely a platform I love. So that is it. If you have any questions about the Mallory Forest, ask me down below. Happy to answer your questions, but that's it for now. So until I see you again, and I do hope I see you again, stay well, be kind, do good. That's it. This is Grumpy. I got to get these forests moving. I'm out.